Mitch McIntosh hasn't reappeared and Brad McKenzie starts on the ground on the wing. Well, what a time for the young man to come in for his first game. The Kangaroos with a massive task ahead. It's a big one for them for the season. They're three goals behind the Western Bulldogs. And there's a matter of urgency here. Not the greatest of handball for Harvey, but they'll get a second chance here. So Harvey, and he waited to see what the best option was. Gave it plenty, kicked it as deep as he could. They all watched as Edwards flew hard for it. Swallow, had to go again. Made sure he didn't give away the free. Now might earn one for holding the ball. No. Oh. He's had a frustrating afternoon, Brent Harvey. We saw him playing for a free kick because there was a little bit of a hold. Uh, Liam Pickin grabbing him in the middle of the ground, but he's just been too concerned about milking the free kicks instead of finding a way to contribute. Minson, good follow-up work. Got it to boot. Pickin tried to deal it out. In fact, maybe he didn't. I think he was happy just to lock it back up again. He did well in the end. He looked around. There was no one to yeah. give him a handball. He disguised that well. So tense moments for North Melbourne fans, but the Western Bulldogs thoroughly deserving their 18 point lead. Thomas. All right. Free kick paid. Yeah, against Addison. Edwards and Petrie are deep still. Harper's also in the mix. Adams joins them. Bulldogs have to guard the dangerous space here. This is not beyond him, Thomas. He's having a look. It will take a monster kick. And it probably wasn't a great decision. He probably either had to set it up or know that he could make the distance. It's probably a bit early for handy points, but it does take them within 17. Stay out, Premier collects the mark. Along to Cordy. Had to get boundary side then, Cordy. Delaney flew. Griffin. He had players in front and behind, and Cordy cursing as that one goes out. He's got Ferrito at the back. It looks His like name is McIntosh with the substitutes vest on. Ice on that right knee. Right there, left, play on. You, mate. Oh, gee, that was got a little bit of a look for Jean Syracuse. Question from a North Melbourne perspective, but is what can they change? What can they generate to try and turn things around? I think they've just got to win the hard ball, mate. The, the stats, the contested ball, they've just been smacked today. Uh, uh, that's got to be player-driven. I think from the coaching box now, it's, you know, the, the, he just has to rely on his leadership players in, in North Melbourne and Zubel and Swallow, Harvey and Wells to get Playing plenty of the ball. Such authority at the moment, the Bulldogs. Delaney does wonderfully well not to give away a free there. And they are out on the wing. So maybe this can come to something more promising. Swallows kick finds Petrie. It's a vacant forward 50. Adam's so running hard. Kick and run, and he runs and doesn't quite get there. Keeps his feet, but so did Murphy. And that's another behind. It's an opportunity lost. That was the perfect kick from Drew Petrie. Couldn't have kicked it any better. The only move I would say with Drew, Drew Petrie, maybe put him in the rack and tell him to push forward. It looks like Lake's got his measure today. See if he can generate a couple of scoring opportunities with him in the ruck and get a different matchup with Goldstein at full forward on late. Oh, crunch. Down goes Ryan Griffin. Umpire doesn't intervene though. Let's them play. Wallace to the wing. Thompson and Jansen are accused. Thompson did well but went to ground so couldn't have an impact as Minson arrived. Oh, now he does. Big Don't win. argue. No whistle there, so the kick goes deep. Oh, is that oh. in the back? No, it's waved on. Cordy, Burrito, Higgins arrives. Great right, effort, Burrito. It was desperate stakes there. Burrito, Cordy, and Higgins bearing down on him. Very the big, uh, big don't argue from Will Minson. I thought he was going to do too much. He just pushed Scott Thompson off. 16 points. It's as close as they've got for a, a quarter or so. Still just bubbling around, picking Cordy. Oh, Adams anticipating that try and get it through to Murphy. Did well to win the ball, not so clean with his disposal. Delaney just gave it up. Wallace oh, kicks right. Sammy right. In pain, 
Wallace out to Hargrove. They're coming here, the ruse, though. McMillan on the wing. Has to be clean, Edwards. Couldn't get clear. Umpire waves him on some more. Petrie. And now Bastinac can craft a kick for Harvey. For He's Thomas. got to get it to Thomas. He waited. Great vision. Well, it was, but it's still to be done now. Oh, it didn't get the bounce. Didn't get there for Delaney. Good tackle. Great tackle. He knew where the loose player was, Brent Harvey, but he just couldn't get it there on the full. He had to rely on the bounce of the footy. Have a look at this for a smother. Oh, oh I was... There was the weight of the ball yeah. on the extended arm, which yeah. puts pressure on your, your shoulder joint, especially when you've got the taping there. So he's got an injury there, Sammy Wright. A bit ginger. There's Premi, who's been terrific today, but that was close to holding the ball. Wallace. Boyd calmly kicks it outside the 50. Atley gathers the footy and gathers his thoughts. Anthony off the left for Petrie. Oh, light ball stuff for the skipper. Matthew Boyd willed himself onto the contest and takes the mark. Well, Brian Lake was spent. He couldn't get there on Petrie. Light on his skipper to fill the, the void. Oh, there's a lot of tired boys out there, that's for certain. And it's Sherman running hard. Had to honour that lead. That was a terrific lead from 60 or 70 metres away. This is a big period here, this five minutes, for the leaders of the Western Bulldogs. You just feel if they can hold strong yep. and lead the way and just remain composed, they'll hang on. But if not, the Kangaroos are coming. Oh. We are seeing a glimpse of the future for yep. the Western Bulldogs here with Big Roughhead and Cordy dragging down some marks. Ooh. Grant. Oh, oh, what about that? Well, Hutto, that's the 18th contested mark to the Bulldogs. Only three to North Melbourne. Going to this game, you'd think that North Melbourne had an advantage in the contested mark situation. But Sammy Wright, have a look at his right arm in this situation. He's standing the mark. He's cradling that right arm with the bandage. Well, Jared Grant, this would be a big time to step up and kick a goal. Four goals, five going into the game today. There's a man who had a lot of promise, hasn't quite delivered yet for the Bulldogs, still young at 22. And this time it's a behind away to the left. Do you have to move him out of the back line, Danny, with that injured shoulder that he's got at the moment, right or not? Well, you can be one more contest. Kingy, because I didn't like that one there. You can just see the strength there, the right arm. There's just there's no strength in it whatsoever. And just after that marking situation, he did cradle that right arm. Yeah. So the last thing you need is a deficiency deep in defence. Oh, Jack Zeebel shows his prowess over his head that time. Takes the mark. I'm not sure they've got the run left to actually no. kick the score they need, North Melbourne. Harvey goes for the numbers. And Edwards, if they can win it cleanly here, they had the man over the top, and they, oh, they don't quite get it there. And that's the way it's been today for North Melbourne. Just not quite. And for that, you must give enormous praise to the Western Bulldogs. They did well then, Paddy. There's Premi. He came off his man to create the outnumbered situation. He looks tired too. Mark Austin for the Bulldogs. Yeah. Could barely get to Edwards. That's one avenue that maybe they can use, but uh, he's done a good job on him. Gets out the back to Dalhouse. Sherman. Murphy adapted to the call. Right again. He's one arm banded at the moment. Delaney, terrific move. Ferrito too chancing his arm a little bit. Gets it up to the wing. The give from Cunnington to Wells. Clever. Puts it on the chest of Harper. That's a brilliant kick from Daniel Wells. Under pressure. Just lowered his eyes. Critical Oof, kick, isn't, isn't it? It, big. Just, it opens the door if he can kick this. You can sense that the 20,000 strong crowd here at Eddie Had know how big this moment is. I'm sure Kieran Harper realizes it as he stands from the 50. It's a little left, it's coming back, but not enough. And he's only going to get a certain number of opportunities in this last turn. Three behinds to North Melbourne, five inside 50s in this last quarter. So Hargrave, in the very last line, takes it out to Boyd. I'd like to see Matty Boyd involved. This is what we're talking about. A little bit of composure down back. King, when does Brendan McCartney activate his sub in Clay Smith, or he just lets it ride now? Let's it ride. I think he played yesterday, Danny, so uh, I'd be surprised if he came on. But it looks like he's getting ready to come on now, which is a shock. Yeah, I think, uh, he's, would he take a tall off in a rough head or a... Because Ruffhead's been marking the ball, but it looks like that may be the case. It is. Ruffhead's just putting it on now, the red vest. Petrie trying to farm it off, but 
Brian Lake, he was smothered, but still mission accomplished for Brian Lake in this. High fives everywhere. Yeah, King's right, there's Roughhead, the tall player, so that'll put a lot of pressure on Court. He's been the only tall player in the Bulldogs forward half. Goldstein, Liberatore, Griffin, back to the wing. This is a position where North are starting to win the footy where they weren't earlier in the day. Ferrito, Delaney, Anthony, into the 50s, charged full chest, Edwards, he's, doing, he's trying so hard, but Austin's always oh, been able to just get a quick step in when he's needed. Oh, that's a great spoil, yes, mate. That is a magnificent defensive spoil there from Austin. The kick was perfect for Edwards. Now, Liberatore. More time eroded for the Dogs. 11 minutes, 30 remaining. Mitch Wallace. Well, the last thing North need to do is to go in their shells. Are the Dogs, you mean? Sorry, the dogs. Sorry, I know you're absolutely spot on, mate. Just need to keep taking the game on. Oh, three goals won't be easy. Addison. Beautiful kick. And we're almost at the stage now where another goal. Well, they need, yeah, they need Minson to get forward because Ruffhead's been subbed off, so it's Minson or Cordy. Cordy with one, but not the second. Griffin. Still an ever-present danger. Sherman and Griffin again. Winds it up to the square. One-hander. How's the kick from Griffin? Oh, seriously. That is a beautiful kick to the top of the square. John Syracuse marks it. He read it beautifully, Hutter. He knew where the ball was going. He knew the kicking distance for Griffin. Under pressure, tied about 50 metres. That's a dangerous kick. That's put, that puts any defender Young under... Kinsey playing on him there yep. too. Puts him under extreme pressure, that kick. So Daniel Gian Syracuse, his daughter Ruby said she wanted four today. But three will do if they bring home the victory. Well, he's still got plenty of time to get his four there. Well, yes. Gian Syracuse, as the boys fight over that footy up in the crowd, that is probably the one the Bulldogs were most reliant on today, just to take a little bit of the sting out of any potential north comeback just play some real doubt in their minds Brian Griffin up to 30 disposals now 22 kicks 12 inside 50s had similar numbers last week there was no better kick than that one Hutto that, that is just an amazing kick from Ryan Griffin great connection between himself and Daniel Jean Syracuse he knew the ball was going to the dangerous area well, we've said it time and time again about this being a critical passage of play, but there's almost no tomorrow now for North Melbourne. 22 points in it. One more would finish them off. Let him run, boys. Matty Boyd having a well-earned break on the bench. He's up to 37 possessions. Goldstein and the follow-up work. Harvey did as best he could. Siebel. Zeebel takes it, gives it back to Harvey. So they are trying to lift their leaders here. Here's Brad McKenzie. So he's now gone to the forward line. Good pair of hands on the lead there. Yeah, the huge wraps on him. Great kick. Nice oh, kick for Petrie, Petrie. Who marks and moves on and kicks the goal. So they're still alive. Well, that was a beautiful kick for McKenzie, wasn't it? Well, Ryan Lake was looking for the body. And then McKenzie put it into an area to allow Drew Petrie to run and jump at the ball. Have a look at the kick here. Kicks the ball to space. Here comes Petrie. Poor old Daniel Cross oh. trying to get in the way again. He's been hammered from pillar to post. By his teammate on this occasion, but that was a great kick. The two kicks, the kick from Griffin, and then that one there from McKenzie to Petrie was lace out footy. Great grab for the vice captain, Drew Petrie. Under 10 minutes, and it's back to 16. What a standoff it's been between those two sides. They've held them at bay and held them and held them since midway through the second quarter when they first got out to that three-goal lead. They've been able to nudge it up to four, but not go any further. Minson got the tap down. Bastanak, fearless play. Dalhouse, young Clay Smith's in there as well from the Dogs. I try and lock it in. You know, they've controlled this from the very start, the Bulldogs. This would be absolute theft if North Melbourne won but it's not out of the realms of possibility right at the moment. Contested possessions are flogging in favour of the Bulldogs. 
I think the North have got in their favour, though. They've had eight inside 50s to four. So the Bulldogs, for mine, need to keep generating scores because North are really pressing now. Boyd, you heard the call. Somehow it got into Dalhouse's hands. Ow. Sherman. Out with a clear cross. Had a little look. He's kicked not great. Well, if he, instead of having a look, if he had taken three steps forward, and that, look, that's the type of player he, he is. He, he loves to bring players into the game, Daniel Cross. He knows that was an opportunity lost. Whether he heard a voice out the back. Vincent. Wells. There's some tight boys out there. Swallow. Had the courage to take, the, take them on a little bit. Let's see where it ends up. Grant. There's Premi, bit of tunnel ball for action. Petrie somehow got it to a teammate, but Bastanek puts it straight back into the maze of players. And it goes the dog's way. Liberatore had some telling touches today. Murphy was held for a moment, not long enough for a free. Atley walks straight into the heart of trouble. And I think it's Tory Dixon who just won't let him go. Great tackle from the man in his third game. That's his seventh tackle, Hutto, inside the forward 50. It's already kicked four. Oh, what a wonderful contribution he's made. It's the perfect car forwards game. He's kicked four and generated, hasn't allowed uh, North to generate that run from the half back line. Boyd somehow got it through his boot. Cunnington just got in a slightly better position and they know now this is a matter of urgency for the Roos. Oh, oh. it's a terrible, a terrible clanger straight to Gian Syracuse. Is that a push from oh, Corny? Corny. No. Well, it was a front on push, Hutto. He kept his eyes on the ball and the umpire was right there. It was just a slight, subtle push with the hands in the, in the chest. You know, he's worked hard today, Liam Anthony, but I'd love to know what was going through his head when he fired that hand pass out. It just, it, it's nowhere near whoever he's looking for. But Delaney also, he had to protect the ball drop. 40, oh. Right, the kick. Just, just to keep kick. things alive. Yeah, uh, uh, he's, he's in on the, in on the act. Just getting back to that marking situation there, Luke Delaney will learn from that because he allowed Ace Cordy to come in to the ball drop zone. He had an opportunity to use his body to keep Cordy out of that situation. Go, that's farcical. That he's got to go back yeah. and get the original footy. It is. It's like a, a bad comedy, isn't it, that? So the kick goes for Delaney. And that's well, it was a good-looking jump for it, but it didn't come down. There's Premi. And they love these stoppages, the Bulldogs. Just keep chewing up the clock. They've been good at the stoppages all day. Won the clearances 39 to 31. Still getting ready to head downstairs yeah. again, is he? Yeah, he's got a little rotation going himself, Brendan McCartney today. Half the quarter in the box and oh. half on the bench. Look at Wells, just somehow just oh, got man. the ball forward. But Great the use of the body from Boyd. They are not going to lie down here, the Bulldogs, that's for sure. The Roos are giving them everything. But their leaders have achieved so much today that they are not going to let this happen. That's the way it appears. The board's had 40 disposals, Hutto. 17 contested possessions, 9 clearances. 7 minutes remaining. It's getting to the emergency stage now for the Kangaroos. Boyd watches his pick and kicks them into the 50. Almost slipped out the back. Thompson, Higgins. It's going to Grant Thompson. Off. It took him straight back into trouble for Edo. Sherman! Sherman! Oh. You would think one puts them away. Oh, yeah. The reality is the kangaroos don't look like anyone. No, was. You're, you're right, King, you? they don't. Because the, the dogs have just been first class with their pressure all day, and there's no easy ball. And we've seen late in games, late in quarters, most games open up, but the dogs. They just hold firm. Well, not only that, Kingy, they've, they've out handball received North Melbourne. The Western Bulldogs handball receives 128, North Melbourne 116. So that's an amazing stat in itself. No movement coming from further afield. Oh, there's a fumble. Just to open the door a little for Drew Petrie. And it's Bastanak on tired legs. He goes to ground. Opportunity. Oh, and he's been peaked. Oh, that's, that's a weird decision. Well, that, that had to be a ball up. Because I thought the Bulldogs initiated the, the first scrimmage, and then it ended up in Bastanak's hands. Repertore. Dixon. Swallow. Is that deliberate? It's in the back. Which way? 
It's a kangaroo's ball. Oh, it's a tough game, every contest. They still breathe, but they've been strangled here by the Western Bulldogs. I just don't know if there's any run in the legs no, that's going to create no, something for them. There's no juice for the Roos, and there is for the Dogs. Light takes another telling mark, and I reckon they'll spread and be happy just to chip it around now. I think they just about can from here. What's Brian Lake's fifth contested mark? 23 possessions for Brian Lake. I think we're going to get a lot of feedback in the post game about some of the umpiring and all, you know, some of the controversial decisions. But the reality is, plus 49 contested possessions is a smashing. And no, I think the dogs are credited. Yeah. Yeah. And that's one thing North Melbourne pride themselves on. And that there have been a few confusing decisions, but it's had absolutely no impact on the outcome yeah. of the match. And all you heard pre season about Brendan McCartney, what's he brought to the table? And they've got to win the hard contested ball. They've footy. got to win the contested footy. You know, the hits, Daniel Cross, Matty Boyd. They've been outstanding in that area today. Well, North Melbourne have got nothing left to give. That's the way it seems at the moment. 18 points. It's a triumph for the Dogs. It's not done yet. But where's it going to come from for the Roos? Swallow. They are just swamping them. Boyd. Cordy. Now, maybe into the clear, right, sends Wells. It's open. It is open. No mistakes from here, and the Roos might be able to get one and still be in the contest. High ball. Well, Edwards, he's got a yard, and he marks it. So the first step completed. It's oh, the bloke you want to kick yeah. it. This is right on his range, though, JC. Yeah, told is. us that on inside last week. He's not comfortable kicking from 50-plus. This will be right on the 50-metre arc. Well, at the end of the day, it's so hard to just to summon up something that Aaron Edwards knows this just has to be a goal. No, he hooked it, looking for the extra distance. Looking for someone to take the mark or come up with the miracle. It's just not going to be that kind of day for North oh. Melbourne. Cross. Oh, look, Sherman's on if they move the ball quickly. Big Will. Slope. Oh, Ferrudo's gone down. Little ankle tap. And now they can flow forward. Sherman to John Syracuse. He might get four after all. Great score. Not from that one. Delaney. Oh, straight into trouble. He had no legs to get away. And Clay Smith for sub. He's going to earn the free. Well, there's the game in itself, Hutto. The tackling pressure that the Bulldogs have put on. The subs come on. Clay Smith hasn't had a disposal yet. But... <laughs> They are away then, North Melbourne. Have a look at this tackle. I reckon you called it well, Hunter. He was too tired to do yeah. anything else. Everything had just gone out of the body. But you've got to hand it to young Clay Smith. He's come on you know, in the heat of the game, and he needs to stand up, and he nails the tackle. Well, they lead by 18. Clay Smith can put it beyond doubt. Coming on as the sub. His first kick of the afternoon. It's... Oh, it went mighty close, but... Marked by Thompson, so they breathe, but it's the, the... the point would have been good for the Western Bulldogs. Oh, you just... Two minutes, 27, it's just not enough time, is it, really? We're going to have to play perfect football, North Melbourne. But there's a stagnant field at the moment. And going wide is not... I know he's found his teammate, but... The Bulldogs really... just need to go one-on-one. On one. Just don't allow this. So Harvey tries to orchestrate something from the middle. Happy to go short and get it back, as he's done so many times over the years. They're hopelessly outnumbered, though. This is the Western Bulldogs' day. There'll be lots of stories about North Melbourne and their disappointment and what they've not been able to achieve here today. But this is, this is the Western Bulldogs and Brendan McCartney coming in as the huge underdogs. This is a red letter day for the dogs. Out to the wing. That's a brilliant mark. Contested mark 22 to the Western Bulldogs. 22 contested marks. You talk about the contested ball at ground level. It's been in the air as well. The dominance. How many contested marks for North Melbourne? Only the eight. 22 to eight. Back it goes to Addison. They've effectively given them a lesson in every aspect of the game, haven't they? They've been too good, too hard, too tough. 
Well, when you look at those numbers, it's amazing they haven't won by seven goals, more. isn't it, yep. really? Who it was 59 thought... inside, 50s to 46. Who would have thought that coming in? Daniel Cross. Oh, you've got to love him. Ah, oh, the Bulldogs fans, they love him, and they love Bob Murphy as well. And they've had a few lows already this year. They got absolutely spanked here by St Kilda, but... I guess the word was always good on what Brennan McCartney's been trying to teach them. And they've shown it today. Well, when you skip against 20 contested possessions, Hutto, you think the message is getting through and Matty Boyd... He's up to 44 possessions, Matty Boyd. Ferrito along the line. Oh, that's... I tell you what, Mark Austin, he's some good. of the spoils yeah. he's been able to put on today has been terrific. Well, they're down, they're still play. tackling. They've been tackling from the start, and they're tackling to the end, and it's a bitter end as far as North Melbourne is concerned. There's but Ben McCartney. He, he, well is a, he is a very proud man under there. Oh, it's a great win for the Bullies. It is stirring stuff for the Western Bulldogs. Their slogan is there's something happening out west. And from what we can see today, there is. The Dogs win by three goals. What a win. What a gutsy performance. We're going to have a shot after the siren, so the score could change, but I don't think there'll be enough in the leagues of any of the boys to kick it 60 at the moment. McMillan goes for the oh. torp. Wasn't a bad effort. But the result remains the same. It's the Western Bulldogs climbing up for their third victory in four weeks. Oh, what an upset. It seriously is. I think everyone went to the ground today, other than the 22 Bulldogs players and the coaching staff. Yep. I, I thought North Melbourne were, were a far better team. They, they, were, they were taught a lesson today. A lesson in winning the hard ball, using the ball, the tackling pressure the Bulldogs put on, and the run, the courage. It's just been a red letter day for the Bullies. Gee, it's a tough day for Brad Scott. There's no doubt there'll be plenty of attention on him now and the, and the Kangaroos in their position as we've touched on a number of times. Almost a full list to choose from. And they've gone down. But they're on the couch on Tuesday night too. It was a concern and it wasn't so much in the coaches' box for North Melbourne. It was a number of players that just didn't perform anywhere near the levels they're capable of. They've lost Hamish McIntosh with a knee injury, but... No such problems for the Western Bulldogs, and they were led uh, very, very admirably well by their skipper today, David King with Matty Boyd. Oh, they were well led, all right. 44 disposals personally, but it means more than that. It means more to the club, doesn't it, this sort of win? Yeah, it was a massive, it was a massive game for us, and after last week, playing well for three quarters and then being really disappointing in the last quarter and letting the game slip away from us, it was really important to put a good four-quarter effort together, and I think we did that tonight. It was a really good team effort tonight as well. I thought that some of the younger players really took a step forward, some great contested marks from Cordy and Ruffhead, and yeah. even Dalhouse is improving, and Grant. Yeah, everyone's improving, and, I mean, that's all you can ask for. We've got a lot of young young players who are really working hard to, to make improvements in their game, um, and tonight, I thought today, you know, they were jumping at the ball and, and crashing a few packs, and that's all we can ask for. Are you feeling like things have turned now for the Dogs, that you're really on the road back? You went through some hard stages at the start of the year, but things are really up and rolling now. Oh, I wouldn't say up and rolling, but I think we're getting a few things right that we need to address. Um, you know, I think we haven't played terrible footy uh, in the first couple of weeks. We, we had a really bad game against St Kilda. Um, apart from that, I think we've been going OK in patches, but as I said, it was just about putting four quarters together and um, about time we did it. Mate, go and enjoy this one. Thanks, Kenny.